today I have a special guest for you guys. She's a phenomenal woman, someone who's multidimensional and has a special message for the ladies. So without a further waste of time, I'd like to hand the platform over to you. Tabby, it starts with you. Hi everyone. My name is Tabby Lemkatra. I'm a wife, I'm a mother, a daughter, a sister, a friend, a community member. But most importantly, I am a woman, and not just any woman. I am a phenomenal woman. And today I'd like to talk to my fellow phenomenal queens, my women who have discovered their talents, who are unearthing new things about them, women who are growing in their authenticity, and those women that are still trying to find their feet in a world that says they are not enough. Today I'd like us to speak a little on authenticity on what it means to be true to who you are as a woman. Because we live in a society that dictates how we should walk, how we should talk, what kind of nose we should have, and what kind of bag we need to carry. But is that the true measure of who we are? Is that the realest picture of what God has created us to be? All of the phenomenal women that I know, my mother included, never walked in the footsteps of someone else. Instead, they carved their own ways. They managed to find their true voice and they walked in it. Think of Oprah Winfrey. She was turned away for having eyes that were too far apart. She was told that her voice was different, didn't sound like the rest of the presenters, and that her energy was a little bit too much. The new sister news director came to me and said, you know, your hair is too long, it's too thick, your eyes are too far apart, your nose is too wide, and your chin's too long, and you need to do something about it. Where is she now? She was authentic to herself and walked in her truth, and that resulted in her being listed as a phenomenal woman. Today, she's synonymous with success, with endurance, and her name is known throughout the world. So this show that just getting underway nationally, mm -hmm. it, it, it's it's going to do, it'll do well. And if it doesn't? And if it doesn't, I will still do well. I will do well because I'm not defined by a show. You know, I think we are defined by the way we treat ourselves and the way we treat other people. You know, I would be wonderful to be, you know, acclaimed as this, you know, talk show host who's made it. That would be wonderful. But if that doesn't happen, there are, you know, other important things in my life. Go back to the Bible and think of Queen Esther. She was a woman who was authentic to who she was. Although her people faced a great danger of being killed, she understood that it was in her authenticity and standing in what she had been called to do that that was how her people would have been saved. It's so easy to copy and paste to simply look at another woman that you admire and find yourself becoming a second-rate copy of who they are. Ilwan Dombo. Girl, unga fo mugo ba mumbi. I lo Dombo, I lo Sisi. Utengo makeup Sisi, women are ready to Sisi. Hey bo, come on say, unga fo mugo ba mumbi Dombo. I lo. Do not become a second-rate version of someone else. You are too valuable and this world definitely doesn't need a photocopy of a Bonang or an Oprah or a Bastana Kumalo. What the world needs today is you. You in all your wholesomeness, your authenticity, your vibe, your voice, that is what the world needs today. And if you don't shine in your glory, someone else will come and live their authenticity and have you asking yourself, but no matter why, when meanwhile, all you had to be was yourself. So I'm here today encouraging you to know that you are enough. Yes, find ways to better yourself, find ways to upgrade yourself, but never lose sight of who you are. Those little special things about you, keep them, harness them, work on them and make them better because that is why you are special. 
And in times of doubt, remember what the Word of God says. It says that we are wonderfully and fearfully made in the image of God. Remember that when God created you, when He was done, He said, it is good. So who is Instagram to tell you it is not good? Who are your friends to tell you you need to do this and do that? Walk in your truth. Remember whose image you are made after. Go out there and slay. You don't have to be like a man. You are a woman. So everything that you do, do it like a woman. Because this is your time to shine. Thank you so much, Tabby, for sharing your voice with this audience. We appreciate your message. We honor you as a woman, as a leader within society, and we hope that we can have you on this platform again. But for now, guys, thank you for listening, and don't forget, it starts with you. The video for today is brought about in partnership with Enviro Switch Cares Foundation. It's a non-profit organization that my wife and I founded, and it has the vision of affecting and impacting the lives of people of all races, people of all ethnic groups, and people of all ages. We don't want to make a difference that's just a drop in the ocean. So we've chosen the approach of stakeholder engagement, of partnerships and innovative solutions for the problems affecting people within the country of South Africa and beyond. Born out of the desire to impact lives, ours is community upliftment at the individual level. That is why, as a 33-year-old male, I've already donated blood over 40 times in my lifetime and I intend to do it until the day I die because I know the impact that comes from it. But further to that, we have done drives where we've donated over 600 shoes to schools in KZN. We have made donations to Betha Goa Hospital. We have further made donations and contributions to local authors who have shared their knowledge and information with young people, the likes of Mr. Witness Mdaga, Mr. Tepo Musiedi, and Mr. Miracle Chawani. But for us to carry on with the social drives that we'd like to achieve under Enviroswitch Case Foundation, this is where you come in. We need your support, not only in the form of giving and contributions, but also in identifying the people that actually need any form of assistance. As long as our foundation can reach them, then it's something that we are more than happy to do. So if you would like to donate or if you would like to reach out, simply email joy.holani at enviroswitch.co.za. You can further contact her telephonically on 078-401-3118. And for more on EnviroSwitch Cares Foundation, you can visit www.itstartswithyou.co.za and then you just forward the page and then learn what you can learn from us.